Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, today, I'm doing, I'll, I'll say at least part one of a video, and, and this is a reaction video to the movie, The Tender Swindler. <laughs> Woo, man. Guys, first I want you to like, share, subscribe, comment, comment, comment. If you have seen the movie, <laughs> man, if you've seen the movie, listen, I, I'm going to have to say trigger alert with this video because you're going to get every part of a narcissist. For you guys that really want to know what I'm talking about and what other well, I'm, I'm gonna just speak for me. Of what I'm talking about, guys, you have got to see the tender swindler. This is a narcissist covert, covert narcissist at its best on its highest level. Well, I wouldn't say highest level. I would say on a high level. Not high vibration, if that's what you're thinking. No. They all are ground. They all trash. They all are low vibrational monsters. I'll say in the realm of narcissism, this narcissist is one that he was he was strictly dealing with a certain clientele. Ah, uh, okay. So in part one of this. Um, I want to start out with the basics. And for you guys that watched it, which I know everybody's watching this thing. Um, it's so much to unravel with this thing. So this guy. Oh, man, there were so many triggers in there for me. It, you know, he had several names. <laughs> Guys, listen. I don't know how many of you have experienced this. I have, okay? Uh, not not on quite on that level, but yes. The playing with names and, you know, I'm telling you that is classic. You meet somebody and, you know, and don't get me wrong, so all of us may have a nickname, <laughs> but we don't have several. And you can't be the only one that calls a narc you just met that nickname or new name. OK, guys, when you meet somebody that has a name, when you meet them and then you start finding out different things about that name. And you find out you may be the only one using that name or other people may be using it, but all of you have the exact same position. Yeah, chances are you're dealing with a narcissist. And I'm calling that a narcissist because that is to deceive you. Okay, that is to deceive you. And that's what a devil does. They're here to deceive you. This person, this guy that they, that, that they showed in the movie, you know, I mean, he met the women that he swindled on Tinder. And he did things like he would take and he, he would front. He would front like he was rich. He would, he would, and I mean, he would front like he was rich, not, you know, like he's okay. He was front like he was rich, you know, nice cars. He had, you know, Bentleys and Rolls Royce, Ferraris, Lamb Lamborghinis. He was doing the most. I mean, everything he wore, designer, you know, and every transaction that he made was high, high dollar. But guys, I want you to. 
And, and this is for you guys who really do make that kind of money. You know, listen, if especially you guys who make that kind of money, you know a swindler. You can't fake being rich for long. You can do something to attract people's attention. And he was a master of that. He was a master at attracting and getting your attention. He had the right clothes on. He had the right look. He was, he, you know, he had the right build. You know, he had a small build. Clean cut guy. You know, um, they, they let, they, they, I actually had different recordings of his voice throughout the movie. So, and, and, and it was, man, everything about it, man. There's so much I want to just get into. But he, it, it, for the women that met him, he knew to meet them in certain places. Okay? He's going uh, to meet you at the high-end hotels, the Four Seasons, the, the Mandarin. He, he's going to meet you at places and tell you, just meet, just meet me there like it's casual, right? But what, what nobody really picked up on was that initial meeting, he wasn't really spending any money on anybody. Guys, and that's what none of the women really caught on to. They saw this image and they trusted it. They said, nah, nah, dude. You're not just going into a Bentley dealer and get one of those, you know, just because you're a good swindler. You're not going to swindle them out of that car. You're surely not going to go on a Rolls Royce or a Ferrari dealer and swindle those guys. They've seen the best of it. That's one place that you're... I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to shout out the car dealers, the Rolls Royce, the Bentley, the Ferrari, Lambo dealers. Because you ain't going in that dealership and walking out of there and swindle them people with out of that money. It, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay? <laughs> it's not going to happen. They've heard every lie and they know how to detect that liar. Oh, man. But the women that were thinking that this guy had it together, had it going on. They were just, mm, they were easy prey. He hung out in places where people who had money hung out. You know, he would fly to different countries. You know, he was always in an exotic location taking pictures. Okay. Now, none of those women that he met, none of them, none of them knew from the beginning that he, he built this image up based on him using women and their money. The dates that he took women on was money he swindled from other women. Guys, and I'm saying this, a lot of us go through that and don't even know it. A narcissist will come to you and always needing something, always wanting something. And we're trying to do the best we can to keep that image up. For them and they lean on you and lean on you and lean on you this guy did not have any qualms about asking for money and the, and the thing about it is he portrayed himself as the son of a billionaire okay he was supposedly a diamond dealer so he already had this fake business put together oh my goodness he and I wouldn't say he masterminded it, you know, because a lot of people do stuff like this. But he had this fake portfolio put together and made himself seem like he had money. And this is one of the way, one of the tricks that he used to swindle women out of the money because they weren't just stupid. No, the women that he was swindling, see, he, what he did was. And you got to watch closely. A, a swindler. See, what he did was he played on the fact that he was saying he portrayed the image that he was well off. So the women felt, OK, 
finally, I'm meeting a nice guy who has his stuff together. I got my stuff together. Bam, that's it. All he had to do was get in and pretend that he had his together. And now the women had to show. See, with a knock, you have to show with, that you have yours together. They only have to give you an image that they have their stuff together. And that's all you're going to get from a narcissist. You're only going to get they have an image that they got it together. But you'll see quickly how that image just falls completely apart when they're faced with adversity. They're faced with you got to pay this bill. You got to pay that bill. And he would go to several women. He has several supplies. He would go to several women at a time. Yes, he would take somebody on a private jet. He took one of the women on a private jet. Guys, I don't know if y'all have ever flown private. <laughs> Woo, man. Oh, my goodness. Listen, you cannot fly private under 10000 if you have the whole plane. I'm not saying you can't buy a seat. Yeah, you can buy a seat on a, on a private jet probably around 1200 bucks, but you're going to share it. You know, he had it set up and they didn't really get in, into everything. You know, how uh, the parts that other people in this played with them, because this was a few people together. They were swindling people. He was the main character, though. So he already had this fabulous lifestyle as a diamond dealer and you know, so forth and so on, whatnot. And he would go in and he would just romantic, you know, he would just be everything a woman ever wanted. And they just felt like they hit the jackpot when they met this guy. He was cool, calm, charismatic. You know, he was well-spoken, well put together, very well-dressed. So he, he knew how to catch their eye. You know, everything he wears is designer. You know, when he's on a trip, he's somewhere in, you know, Fiji or he's in uh, Bora Bora. He's somewhere exotic, you know, and living, living, the, doing the most in Dubai, you know, and you all know you've been to Dubai. <laughs> Woo, you better not go over there with no fifteen hundred dollars talking about. Yeah, where the mall at? Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to hurt yourself. So. This guy had the image. He had his fronts up. That's what I try to tell you guys all the time. You, you, because you're going to see it when you watch the movie. If you haven't seen it, this guy, everybody he used, they were the support system. Everybody around the, the narcissist is their support system. This guy without these people is zero. He's zero. And I'm talking about zero. He's not on the level of anybody he's swindling. Nobody. Nobody. Everything about this guy was so, it, it, it showed so much consistency in what they did. And the women, <laughs> the women went supernova. <laughs> they went supernova because they did not just sit there and just take it. You know, they start, they did what we do in the huddle. They started talking about it. Guys, if you only knew the power in talking about it, exposing. Guys, the biggest fear that this devil had, his biggest fear throughout the entire movie was being exposed. His biggest fear, don't let people see me. If cameras are around, I don't want to see them. Listen, guys, the, the, the women that he got caught swindling, that was not his first rodeo, okay? This guy had been swindling people since grade school, okay? This, that, this is what he does. This is who he is. This isn't some situation where he's, you know, he was... Oh, he was an abused child. He was this, he was that. His father was a rabbi or something like that. And that's not to say that he couldn't be abused, but it is to say when he comes out, he's going to have a story of abuse. He's going to be the victim. He would literally take these women's money, 
to the point where all of them had that same reaction. I, I, I just re go, remember how triggered they I was when listening to their voices and the desperate tone that they had when it came down to, Lord, I done jumped out. I, I can see this guy doesn't have what he's saying. It's something about his story isn't consistent. It isn't lining up. And he's asking them for money. Baby, I need 3000 I need 5000 I need fifteen. I need 20000 I need 50000 And these women were taking loans because, they, of course, they had good credit. They got credit cards and they got money. Right? But when he could not pay the money back, do you think he stopped? See, we all think that a narc will stop and have some mercy at some point. I've torched this woman's account for everything. She is totally in debt. She's upside down, inside out. And, and see, that's when he turned it, that's when he turned on them. When he used them all the way up, that's when he turned on them. Like, you know, what do you mean you don't have any money? You, you know, you, you, when you met, when we met, you, you know, you, you, you play in this role like you're <laughs> like you got it. He made himself the victim after he took their money. He made himself the victim after he took their money. And I mean, all of it after they were in debt. I remember what well, two of the women on there were talking about, you know, how nervous they were. Like, man, I, my life is literally on the line here. I'm literally ready. This one woman said, man, I was look, I was driving and I saw this big truck or trailer coming this way. She said, and damn, I was thinking to myself, what if I just inched over and just slid right into this thing? She just wanted to die. She saw that she was in way over her head. And it was nothing she could do about it. And that's what a narc does. It, it kind of reminds me of nature. I'm a nature person. It, kind of, it reminded me of looking at an alligator and the way an alligator kills its prey. An alligator will, is a, a prey animal that will sit underwater and wait till other animals are thirsty and they got to come get something to drink. And when you come get something to drink, this guy is, does, I mean, the water doesn't make a move until he comes snatching you out of the water. Come out of the water and snatch whatever he was grabbing back in the water. He snatches it aggressively, pulls it in. And if the animal doesn't see what's going on, an animal's fighting. Not thinking you're full of adrenaline. You're fighting. And now... This alligator has you way out here in the deep water. See, the alligator is not trying to completely do what he wants to do to you right here on this shallow water because you can fight back. He won't get you in that deep water where you got to swim and fight. And he knows you're not a swimmer. He knows you're not a swimmer. I got you in this deep water. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's over. Now your lungs are full of water. It's over. That's exactly what this swindler did to the women. He pulled them out viciously, pulled them out in water they'd never been in before. He put them in debt that was so serious. It was they were like, and it's the typical story of a narcissist because he got them in so much. And it's just like so many of you. You're thinking, wow, man, this person really owes me a lot of money. And I need that money back. I need that money back. So they're not willing to just leave him alone. Because you're like, dude, I'm, I'm too deep in with you here. I'm too deep in with you. That's why a narc wants to marry you. That's why they're selling you that dream, you know, children, family, and we're going to have a house on a hill and, and a dog and a picket fence. They're selling dreams. Because that's what they need you invested in. And once you invest, they're going to keep pulling you deeper and deeper. And that's when you're like, I can't get out. And as soon as everything goes to back down to hell, because it always does, it crashes and burns. That's when the narc turns on you. It's your fault. You did this. 
you need to get us more money. That's when the mask comes completely off. And you're thinking, hold it, dude, you got us in this. He doesn't, the narc doesn't care. The narc is going to, at that point, become the victim. And that's exactly what he did. Listen, you need to, you need to do anything we need to do. Now, you're talking about a person who said he's the son of a billionaire. He's a multimillionaire. Now he's telling you, go pawn something. He said, listen, I got a watch collection full of uh, Peugeot watches, Cartier, Rolex, Hublot, you name it. All of the high-end watches. He has a watch collection. He tells her, he tells one of them, and I probably told several, it wasn't just one. He tells women that he knows this woman is above going to a pawn shop. She's not about to go to a pawn shop. So he tells her, listen, take this uh, Hublot, go to the pawn shop. You know, this is a hundred plus thousand dollar watch. You know, they'll give you at least 50,000 for it. That's the money I owe you. Guys, do y'all think this fake fraud walking around with a real Rolex? Do you think he actually had those cars? No, you can go right on something like Toro. You can go to a local service. You, you go to Miami, you know, that's all you're going to see. People, Ferraris and Rolls Royce rentals right there. You can rent it for the day. And that's all this guy was doing. That's all he was doing. The, the one woman said she took the watch to a pawn shop and they laughed her out of the pawn shop. Get, get out of here with that fake mess. <laughs> oh, man. Gosh, there are so many things to cover in this right here. There's so many different things to cover in this because this guy just was on every level after he got to that point where he would um, after he got to the point where everything is gone. He's broke. You know, now he's desperate. He's using other supplies. He's calling all of his supplies. Every woman that hits him on Tinder. He, he literally he it seems like he did a background check on them immediately. Because all of them said, yeah, he hit you right back. And you're like, wow. And everybody's going to get, he's going to get an apartment with you. He's going to talk to you about being in love with you. And they would be in a relationship with him. Like every woman that was the main supply at that time, every woman that was the main supply, all of them, it wasn't chaos. You know, not from the aspect of, you know, this person just mentally abusing and torturing. I know it was some chaos in there. I know it was. They didn't really tell that part of the story, though. I wish they would have. But they were trusting this guy. And that's what I tell you guys. When a narc discards, the narc discards you and somebody else is the main supply right now. But he's still going to use you to maintain that relationship. And that's what he was doing. He was still dabbling with all of the other supplies. Anybody he could tap money out of. Now, understand, this guy got warrants out for him. He got different countries looking for him. This guy is a swindler, okay? He's around. He's doing the most. He's a total swindler. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was he's using everybody. He's using all of his old resources that he could. You know, even though he's a wanted person, he kept his story was his enemies, the haters are hating on him. So he, he has to, you know, escape. He has to travel all the time. He has to go here. He's a diamond de dealer. So that's a very dangerous business to be in. So he sold all of them based on that right there. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy business. And, you know, I could get hurt. You could get hurt. He got one of the women beat up. That's the narcissist selling their story. They, they, they will do anything they have to do to sell their story. Okay? Anything. <laughs> Including get you, getting you beat up. So after, you know, all of these things, the women get together. They start noticing and 
you know, then somebody else, somebody, some company reached out to him and they were investigating him because they, he, this guy, this is what he does. And, and when you do your research, you're going to notice that's what narcs do. OK, they have a background of what they're doing to you. They have a history of it. They have a history. This is not their first rodeo, guys. When times get tough after they've used you completely up, they turn on you. But then when after they turn on you and curse you out, they try to tear you all the way down to the ground, then they call you back. I didn't mean everything I said about you. Now it's the soft tone again. It's the tone that, okay, I've cussed you out. You see that I will do anything. I need you to do what I need you to do right now. And boom. They'll go back and forth. It's hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. This is part one, guys. This is just part one. You know, uh, I, I don't know how many parts this video is going to have, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Great movie. Um, it was, it's more like a, uh, a biography or a, um, auto, I guess, autobiography, autobiography, uh, whatever they're doing. Uh, I can't think of it. My goodness, you know, that short term memory loss here. But anyway, I suggest you guys go on Netflix and check it out. It's a great movie. Um, and it's a true story. <laughs> it, you're going to be, listen, you dealing with a narcissist, you're going to be triggered throughout this movie. Okay. Cause he calling them all kinds of stuff. He doesn't, he's doing the most. Okay. They went super empath on him. Listen, I want you guys to like, share, subscribe. Uh, most of all, I want you to comment on this video. If you're not a subscriber, you know, I need you to subscribe. You know, I'm pushing this hundred K. Need y'all help. Come on. Come on. Let's get me there. Let's get us dead to this 100K. And if you need coaching, guys, you need coaching, reach out to me on my website, HarryOverTheTopInternational.com, or you can inbox me on uh, you can inbox me on Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger. Also, follow me on TikTok and Twitter. I'm on Twitter also. All right, guys. Thanks. See you in the next video.